being made and also the sacrifice that the court itself is making. You can see today is a Saturday, yet the court convened and sat in order to hear this matter which underscores its importance. So once we finish with this um, pre-hearing, we now go into the actual hearing. We are very happy with the progress made. Hi everyone, uh, welcome to the Majestic TV. Um, if this is the first time you'll be joining us, do well to subscribe and turn on the notification button to know whenever we broadcast. So, uh, as you all know that the pre-hearing at the tribunal uh, has finished, so now they are going to the substance of the entire cases lined up in the uh, tribunal. Uh, in a significant development uh, surrounding the ongoing presidential tribunal, uh, the legal team representing Mr. Peter Obi made a bold announcement that they confirmed their intention uh, to present a formidable lineup of 50 star witnesses to bolster their case. Um, on the other hand, the, the PDP legal team also uh, made uh, bold to say that they will be presenting 100 people to witness uh, on this issue. Uh, this news has sparked uh, anticipation and speculation about the potential impact uh, these could have on the proceedings. Uh, the, the lawyers assertion that these witnesses possess crucial evidence capable of burying and destroying the certificate of return presented to Mr. Tinubu by Yakubu Mahmoud um, has raised the uh, distress uh, in the battle. Uh, the certificate of return holds immense significance in the context of the tribunal as it substantiates uh, whoever is acclaimed to be the winner of uh, the election. With the introduction of um, 50 star witnesses, um, Mr. Obi's legal team aims to provide a compelling testimonies um, expert opinion and the irrefutable evidence that could challenge the legitimacy of the certificate of return. Uh, by doing so, they hope to cast doubt on the validity of Mr. Tinubu's claim to the presidency and potentially sway the tribunal uh, to favor Mr. Obi. On the other hand, the legal team of the PDP have also uh, done the same so who will win this election? Who did the people actually uh, vote for? We are hoping that justice at the end of the day will prevail uh, at the tribunal. You know, uh, the presence of a such number of uh, witnesses signal the extensive preparation and confidence uh, of uh, Mr. Obis legal team and also that of the PDP. We cannot discount that at this point. Uh, it suggests that they have thoroughly investigated and gathered evidence to support their assertions. Each witness is expected to bring forth unique and um, substantial information that could undermine the credibility of the certificate of return and consequently the claims by um, Ashuaju. The inclusion of star witnesses imply that uh, these individuals possess exceptional expertise 
credibility or first hand knowledge that will significantly impact the proceedings. It is likely that they will be called upon to testify under oath and um, subject to cross examination by the uh, opposing legal team. The weight of their testimony combined with the supporting evidence or evidences will, well, will be helpful in shaping the tribunal's perception uh, of the case or cases as the case may be. As the tribunal unfolds, all eyes will be on the courtroom to witness the revelations and um, arguments presented by these 50 and 100 star witnesses. The logo battle will intensify and um, the fate of the presidency could hang in the balance. The outcome of this high-stakes trial will not only impact the immediate future of the country, but also have far-reaching implications for its political landscape and governance. And we recall that the PDP had filed an application uh, for, for the hearing to be aired, uh, to be streamed live, and um, the Labour Party have also concurred with them. We understand that INEC, INEC that is um, a public institution uh, that should represent the interest of the people, have vehemently um, refused uh, to accept for the proceedings to be aired uh, live. Uh, we are hoping there will be a judgment on that matter tomorrow or next. But then, let us uh, hope that justice will prevail in this situation. Uh, we want a Nigeria that will be just, a Nigeria that will be fair for every citizen. Where any man, any woman can contest for any position without minding where he's coming from, without minding whether he's rich or poor without the election being compromised I want a, a, I want a nation that would be truly a nation for all not only for the bourgeois or all those uh, purportedly state captors that have kidnapped the country and held it hostage over the years um, let us hear what these lawyers uh, had to say about what to expect in the course of the week thank you please join our teaming viewers every day and continue to support us in the little way you can thank you have a beautiful day ciao i agree is to be allowed to think about it i understand what i'm saying we'll think about it and we'll let the court know on Monday, which is the next agenda date. By 22nd of May. Well, all the motions that were filed by the parties have been moved. And ruling was given just on one, which was moved by the Independent National Electoral Commission. A simple, non-contentious application. It was not opposed and it was granted. All other motions have been disposed of, unless any other one will be filed in the near future, which cannot be ruled out. considering the allegations the Labour Party and Presidential against the election. Against the election. Yes. And the person who was declared winner. Will 50 witnesses alone be enough to prove your case? Yes, 50 will be enough. 50. That's what we have asked for. And I assure you that if we call 50 witnesses, the truth will be known. 
Any other questions? One more, please, quickly. In construction all council meet to come If you if you uh, have a pre hearing, what has now been agreed is whichever party wants to tender documents will prepare a schedule and hand over to the other parties to the petition. If petitioners want to tender some documents, for instance, we will prepare a schedule of those documents and hand over to the other parties. So that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. This one will go for me. After you. Okay. The pre hearing session, the parties we've now streamlined the witnesses we are calling, the times allocated to each witness, the times we are going to use. And we are very happy with the progress that is being made and also the sacrifice that the court itself is making. You can see today is a Saturday. Yet, the court convened and sat in order to hear this matter which underscores its importance. So once we finish with this um, pre-hearing, we now go into the actual hearing. We are very happy with the progress made so far. Yes, uh, you, you'll notice that uh, before uh, rounding up, uh, the court raised the issue and drew the attention of uh, counsel to this issue uh, of a consolidation of petitions, which is provided by the first schedule to the Electoral Act. And the court has given us opportunity to go and brainstorm on this and then come back to uh, make our opinions known. You know, there are now three uh, presidential petitions pending, and the court needs to deal with all this expeditiously. And that is why this issue of consolidating all the petitions uh, has come up. Uh, fortunately, the matter is coming up on Monday. On Monday, we shall uh, offer our opinion to the court, and the court will resolve this issue in the best way to make sure that this matter is dealt with, uh, with uh, speed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Leave that. <laughs> Leave that as well. <laughs> that one is because there's an issue that I did not get.